Hello everyone. Welcome to our paper titled OmniVec Learning Robust Representations with Cross Model Sharing. This paper is in co authorship with Gaurav Sharma. Many applied machine learning methods aim to extract useful representations from data. However, a majority of such methods are modality and task specific. Learning tasks together with a unified network can lead to regularization effects as a large amount of shared parameters are trained to perform varied tasks and hence are more likely to extract meaningful representations from data without overfitting to one task or modality. It can also aid in utilizing available labeled data from different domains, hence potentially eliminating the cost and effort of labeling large amount of data in a specific modality for a specific task. With the ability of sharing knowledge from multiple modalities, such as image, video, depth map, and speech, and from different domains, such as visual, acoustic, and textual, the modality agnostic learning frameworks have been shown to provide better robustness to traditional unimodal networks. We contribute to that line of work and develop a framework that can learn embeddings in a shared space from different modalities and also deliver high generalization performance. We propose a novel method to learn embeddings from many modalities. The method has a common backbone to process the different modalities and perform different tasks. Specifically, we show that the proposed method works with RGB images and videos, depth images, point clouds, audio, speech, and text data. Further, we propose a novel training mechanism to allow learning using multiple tasks from both spatial, such as image, 3D point clouds, and depth maps, and temporal example, video, audio, speech, text data. Owing to the common backbone of the method and a synchronous training mechanism, the method shares knowledge between different modalities and tasks, resulting in improved performance and generalization. We also propose an iterative training mechanism by mixing modalities and grouping tasks. Different from earlier works, we also propose to perform self-supervised mass pre-training across visual as well as non-visual data. We show the effectiveness of the proposed approach across 22 datasets belonging to multiple modalities. This is the overview of the proposed approach. The network comprises of six building blocks, that is modality encoder, meta token block, projection block, transformer, vectorizer, and task sets. We now explain each block in detail. The modality encoder takes as input one modality at a time and extracts feature embedding for each of the modalities. In our proposed framework, the modality encoder can be a transformer, CNN, or can directly use raw signals. We do not assume any specific nature for the modality encoder. Therefore, the proposed framework allows incorporating any appropriate deep network as a modality encoder. For this particular work, we use domain-specific transformer-based encoders for each of the modalities, which is shown in the table, where for each of the modality, we have used a network, modality encoder network, which is based on vision transformers, while for text, it is based on BERT. Along with encoding the modalities, we also extract meta tokens from the input modalities. This meta representation is a vector that encodes the modality type, size of the temporal dimension in case of audio or video, the height, the width of a spatial dimension if applicable, and number of channels and length of number of tokens in case of text. In general, the meta tokens can also hold additional information to make the framework adapt to additional modalities. The value in each of these representation variables is conditioned on the type of modality. For example, non-spatial data may have height and width only with the other non-spatial parameters set as a special token, denoting lack of such information. Once we have the encoded modalities and the meta information extracted, it is followed by a projection layer. The projection layer inputs the intermediate representation from the modality encoder network and is conditioned on the meta tokens. It then converts the input representation to patches that are provided as input to the subsequent transformer network. 
we obtain an n-dimensional vector for each patch by applying linear projection. The transformer network is the common part of the framework and is in effect a bottleneck block. While different modalities may arrive here through different encoders, they all have to pass through this transformer network. The transformer network inputs the patches generated by the projection layer and outputs features. The vectorized layer takes patches from the transformer network as input and outputs embedding for the original data point. While the task heads are the final part of the network and which are independent networks that learn a task for every modality. For our implementation, we concatenate the output patches and pass them through a linear layer to obtain a d-dimensional embedding with the vectorizer. At the time of training, we use the outcome of the vectorizer as input to the subsequent task heads. However, using the outcome of the vectorizer as input to the task head is optional as the task head may also directly take input patches from the previous transformer bottleneck. Our proposed training approach follows a two-stage training strategy where the first stage is masked pre-training. That is, we pre-train the network with masked autoencoders. Specifically, for an input with uh, n patches, we mask k patches and feed non-masked patches and their positions to the encoder. For each modality, we use respective uh, encoders, followed by our bottleneck transformer that outputs per patch embeddings. That is, we keep a shared bottleneck transformer encoder for each of the modalities. The per patch embeddings are concatenated with replicas of learnable mask tokens and we add corresponding positional embeddings to each of the embeddings and pass to the decoder. The training objective is to minimize the reconstruction error between the input and decoder outputs. For training the network on multiple modalities and tasks, we introduce the concept of modality mixing and task grouping. We train our model using a collection of a tasks and respective modalities. We group tasks into simple and dense and refer to them uh, to this mechanism as task grouping. We categorize the task into two categories, namely simple dense based on the complexity of the data set and outputs. That is classification task predicts a single label for a given input irrespective of the size of the input. Therefore, we refer it, it as a simple task. However, a segmentation or depth prediction task requires each pixel to be predicted and hence we refer it as a dense task. The details of simple and dense tasks are shown in the table on the right side of the slide where we see that tasks such as on iNaturalist which is a classification task, we, keep, we group it as a simple task while in case of scene recognition or video action recognition which require more intricate analysis of the input data points, we group them into dense tasks. As we do not assume any correspondence between data from various modalities, we propose mixing samples from all data sets for a particular task to share knowledge between various modalities. An alternative approach would be to construct mini batches from each data set separately. However, we found it performs poorly compared to mixing samples from modalities. Therefore, we refer this strategy as modality mixing. These are a few results on of our pre-training and fine-tuning strategies. In the table on the top, we compare against similar methods with where our method has only been pre-trained using the proposed methodology and we see that we outperformed them across seven benchmarks. On all these seven benchmarks, if we fine-tune our method on respective training sets, we outperform the state-of-the-art methods as well. For more results on more data sets, kindly refer to our paper. Here we show generalization performance of OmniVec where we show it across video, 3D point cloud, depth prediction, text uh, summarization and zero shot video plus text and we achieve state of the art across all of the methods when fine-tuned. These are a few references. Thank you.